what did you do? So was that the two-part question? <laughs> yes, but I did, part, I did the second part first. Okay, so it should have been what was my favorite part as an actor and a character. Yeah. And then you switch that around. Yeah. Me. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, my favorite. So dip, so they could be different conceivably. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What? <laughs> oh, Nick Tuck. Um, Nick Tuck was the self glaciating yoga instructor. That, um, nope, not as an actor. As an actor, that was a dangerous and painful experience. Um, This is the only room in the world. I just gotta soak that up for a second. Where you can even get a smattering of applause for that. There were some amazing little reviews online, actually. I have to say. Like, Ab abomination was one word that was just tossed around. Um, it was awesome, I know. Um, no, I really don't know, it's hard to say. Um, as an actor, um, you know, the, the episodes when, when Jared is like trying to molest me right below frame are not challenging. Um, Uta Hagen's A Challenge for the Actor never addressed that particular dilemma. That someone is fondling your balls with a broom hand. Or you're trying to keep a straight face. If, if you imagine it would be difficult? Well, um, I don't know that you're packing. You might be packing something I don't know about. Um, but yes, it is challenging. I can vouch for it. Um, very frustrating. And from the other room, of course, the director doesn't see it. And he's like, Misha, come on. Get it together. Um, I, I, I think that I liked, I liked, uh, I liked the, the Jimmy Cass episode, whatever that was called. That was my favorite. Pardon me? What? Um, <laughs> that just reminded me of um, a debate with George W. Bush where he kept looking at his watch. <laughs> you never want to let on that you're itching to go. Um, hey, Danielle, look what I got. Look what I got. A little orange bracelet. <laughs> Handmade. <laughs> My sister went uh, and played ski ball recently. And and won a ton of, like, did extremely well. You know Steve Ball, right? Yeah. And won a ton of those little tickets. And went up, I don't know, that might be hyperbole, I don't know how many you won, but won enough to go up to the stand and redeem her whatever she could get for these tickets. And they gave her a piece of orange string. That's <laughs> all she could afford for the tickets. Um, times are tight. So, I never answered your question, you know. See how I dodged that? I only answered part a. <laughs> Sorry.
But that didn't really answer. That was only for part A, right? You seem willing to give up. I don't want to. Make me. Don't puppy dog me. That's a low blow. pulling your pants down. <laughs> <laughs> now that you have... <laughs> Way to pull yourself back together, though. Right back in the ring. Okay. Will you be directing any more films like, um, like you had like, with Don't Hedge Apocalypse? Wait, wait, doing what to them? Any more directing. Wait, I didn't direct Stone Head Apocalypse. Did someone say I directed it? Um, no. <laughs> not my, not my film. I did not direct that. It showed up the day before we started shooting. Is that what they told me to? Didn't, didn't direct it. We did direct um, a fairly excellent film um, called Stranger Danger. Kind of an epic drama. I don't want to say Oscar contender because I don't want to jinx myself, but yeah. But I will be. I will direct more ep sort of epic, long form stuff like that, for sure. Um, why do you ask? How about you? Have you directed anything? Do you, but do you want to? No. What do you do? Just a writer. That's about it. Oh, you're a writer. Well, writers often parlay their careers into, into directing. Could happen for you. What kind of stuff do you write? Mostly bye bye song. You don't sound. She said you don't sound too short. When you put up on the spot, it's like. I know. Now you know how it feels. It's awful. The pain. So, um, what have you most, what did you write most recently? I wish like, I'd like name something, but I haven't written anything in a while. Kind of like a writer's block. Oh, really? Um, I don't know what the best therapy for that is. <laughs> yeah. Shame, shame on whoever said that. Um, well, it's been lovely talking with you, and I hope that the, the blog lips, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know, unless there's something else you want to talk about. No, I'm good. Okay. Um, bye. Hi. What are you holding? Oh, we trust you. You don't have to fun. wave that around. What are you wearing? Are you sure? And what is your friend wearing behind you? It looks like... Wow. There's more? Oh! That's a, a ball of pink minions. Where are you, um, where are you coming from? Oh! Is Killian here? Oh, ah. Someone just moved in. It's for me to friend. <laughs> All right, ask him, just ask him about that question. Um. Uh oh. Um. Well, I think. I mean, I don't know. I don't think. I don't think the cast wants anything different than anyone else wants that's watching the show. Get rid of Sam and Dean. Um, and do kind of. Here's, and I've been talking to the, the producers, and they're, I think they're coming around. Um, it would be kind of like a castaway for a whole season, which is Cass. <laughs> castaway is what I would call it. It's just, it's just uh, Castiel with a golf ball. It's just kind of an original vibe. And, uh, and he's on uh, a boat. 
instead of an island. So it's a new thing. And um, yes, and he and he, he actually teaches the golf ball to speak. Uh, but you know, I don't know. I feel kind of unoriginal about that. Like I know that a lot of the fans are asking for that, but it seems like it's something that would work for the show. The show clearly has been sort of going in that direction. I think. And, so we'll just see. We'll see how it plays out. Um, but I know that everybody, you know, all the higher ups are really excited about the idea. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, incidentally, letters from you guys would really help in that department. <laughs> so start right here. Thank you.